Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Arise. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that we are not in the same area we were last time. That is because I actually went out and went looking around for some things that I may have missed. And yep, there's a owl here in Mosgul. It is right over here. Can't get it from that side. I basically just walked around until I found it. <laughs> Luckily, Mosgul was the first area I went to because... Uh, I was like, well, I know it's missing in Calaglia, and it was the first thing on the list, so. A monocle. Thank you. I don't know if that's all of the ones in Calaglia, but that's the one I found. Maybe something's going on in the forest. That might be it. I think 32 were was all of them, so we might be good there. But before we continue anymore, I looked in some of the shops in the various towns as well to see if I was missing some of the lures. Finally. And it looks like I was in basically a lot of the general stores. This was not one of them, unfortunately. Uh, I think the first one's in uh, Sizzledon. This is the first one that I missed. But I'm not going to do anything with these yet. Um, I promise we'll go back to the main story and start doing some of that. I just want to get this stuff out of the way since I was looking for it last time. A disarming lure. Do not have one of those. But yeah, as soon as, after I grab all of these, we'll actually go back uh, to the place we left off last time so we can do some uh, actual content that's not side content. I think there's one more side quest uh, that I haven't gotten yet either that Finally. popped up in one of the if only we could have flown with the wind. later uh, areas like Thislam or something. Trembling Lure. Yeah, I hadn't been checking the shops to see if these things were here, but they are. Uh, Niez? In the inn. I think this one I already have. And I want to check, like, this limb and that stuff. Quite the little and we should be good. Charming lure. Sure, already got it. All right, Thislam, and then I guess Pelegian's a different area entirely as well. But uh, Pelegian, there's a new quest. We've reached our destination. But I'll probably save that until after we do some of the uh, other stuff. Rock Slapper, I already have. All right, I just want to check the last one in Pelegian, and I promise we'll go back to where we were before. Unfortunately, I didn't get a fast travel point to the wedge, but we that can just take the boat the back over there. We went on. Hello. Uh, Rock Slapper. Okay, so nothing new. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, no, there is a fast travel to the wedge. Oh, I didn't think there was one. <clears throat> well, that's convenient. Yeah, that was quite the you probably saw a little... Uh, cheeky side quest there, but we'll, we'll grab that one in a minute. Might be the last uh, spirit place, the last mysterious light. But how about we go through this place with that little side thing done. Okay, this is a ladder. Weird, wouldn't have guessed. But here we are. I'm mostly just happy that, um... <clears throat> I'm gonna be able to level up a bit more. Because, uh... That'll make it a lot easier to do some of these things that I've been trying to do. Because, as we've seen, I don't really need to be the level that it expects me to be. To beat a lot of the enemies, but for a long time there, I was just way too low level. So it's nice that we're getting this. There we go. Go ahead and get that strike. Lame swing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Okay. Get tripped up, nerd. Oh, yeah, I should try to do uh, this thing with uh, Alfin. The uh, Mystic Art that I still haven't done. But those enemies, I think, were too weak to try it out on. Everyone hanging in there? That's new stuff, I think. A charm that wards off curse, as well as boosts elemental defense. Nefarious people up to no good are known to wear it as a caution. This equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Have we ever ran into curse? 
guess I misread the landing. I don't know that we have. It's not something I recall, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I don't really have a lot of healing items. I should have stocked up on some of those. I really should have stocked up on some of those. Wait, where's that? What? It says right here is an entrance to something? Oh, that the teleporter. Uh, I'm guessing that's how we come back here later. <clears throat> it's maybe a fast travel back out. Kind of my assumption. Alrighty. Let's just go in here. I am slowly but surely feeling better, so uh, I think we'll be getting back to hour-long episodes here now for good. Screams bathed in blood? Who was saying that? Oh, God. That was Doalim. That's a very evil person-sounding incantation that you do there. But the skill is called Bloody Howling, so I guess it makes sense. He's bloodbending. I don't even know what element that is. Probably a dark one, if I had to guess. But honestly, I don't know. This should come in handy when crafting weapons. Ooh. Oh, the mystical Lumina Core. That's what we needed. Two more large Demi-Human Talons. Cool. You'll love to see it. Hello, friends. Are you prepared to die? Uh... How about no? There we go. And let's just go ahead and hit him with one of these. Why not? I'll heal off of it. So because of that, um, nice healing circle that Shion put down. Everybody just wants to talk to Alpha in this fight. Jeez. They're all complimenting him. This could be useful. All right, <clears throat> so with that, I have explored everything here, so I guess we just gotta go through this weird door that reminds me of being inside Lord Jabu Jabu. Is he gonna open the same way? Oh, we don't even get to see an animation. I like to think that's what it did. This is all Dana's astral energy. Are you saying the Renans are funneling it through here to send to Lenigus? Sure looks like it. We have to put a stop to it, quickly. All right, battle. Alright, let's dispose of it. Alright, go ahead and confiscate that. Thank you, Renwell. Uh-huh. There we are. Impact cross. Alright, you're gonna die, friend. I think that thing's resistant to Earth. I think that's what, uh... Dolim just hit it with. That's something to keep in mind. Step back. This one's all law. All law? Okay. Uh, I need an enemy to fight. I require death. There we go. This will be a delicious piece of Chaotic figure. Go ahead and hit him with some of this. Bang. Bang. Oh, I... Why did my combo drop there? I guess that took just a little bit too long. Ow. There we go. Bang. I was trying to hit you with Luna Ronda there. Did not work. <laughs> and now we just gotta murder you. Oh, you're doing your laser beam? You're a fire in your laser? It's not gonna work, friend. Cool. I need to be stronger. This uh, seems strange. That's done. Like it should be among creatures you'd find in a forest. Cut it out! I don't need to hear that. It's gotta be man-made, right? Were it so, it would not be any easier to predict. Remain vigilant. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Was wanting to let the dialogue finish, but also wanted to get into this fight. <clears throat> You're not going to be casting against me. I'm sorry. And, ow. Poison. I love, uh, I love the, like, little things that characters in RPGs say while they're poisoned. My favorite one is, uh, from Pillars of Eternity, a character called Adair, that when he's poisoned, he says, I don't want to alarm anyone, but 
I'm slowly dying of poison. <laughs> Small, but a victory nonetheless. So whenever I we hear somebody crying about being poisoned in an RPG, I always think of a dare. I'm obviously paraphrasing. I don't think that's exactly what he says, but he basically goes like, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I'm dying of poison. <laughs> it's just really funny. So hearing Alfin basically say the same thing with less humor is uh, funny to me. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. Oh yeah, I did get a new art with Alfin, didn't I? I should try that out. Play Swallow Blade with it. What was it? Uh, vacuum Blades. Yeah, let's try Vacuum Blades. What does that look like? Oh, that's very long. Yeah, that takes a very long time. One of the nice things about Swallow Blade is it's short. So it's easy to link combos together, but that one takes a long time. All right, what's up here? I feel like going through that door is probably progress, so I'm going to avoid that like the plague. <clears throat> like the Rona. Uh, okay, I thought I was going off on a cliff for a second. I was sure. I was sure Elfin was going to splat. And thus their quest ended, because Alfin fell off a cliff and splatted Coming on the ground. All right, give me some of that damage. Okay, here I go. Win. Oh, God. No, you don't. Boom. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Big crits. Come here, you idiots. And... Oh, I don't have incineration. Whatever. I don't have the, uh... Blazing sword for that one. There we go. The good old double Luna Rondo to keep him in the air and just get that uh combo. And done so. That combat's getting pretty crazy now. So I still had room to grow. Uh -huh. I didn't know that was a, uh, there was a gap there. That was my fault. Uh, okay, we gotta run all the way back up here. I think we got some level ups there, which is good. That's what I want to see. Yes, finally. <clears throat> all those boss fights we've been doing were giving not a lot of XP. So it's nice to finally get some XP. Ooh, Lavender's attack, is it not? Yes. Um, I mean, to me, that makes the most sense on Alfin. Although Dolim could use it too, I suppose. Uh, we'll give it to Dolim. I like you, Dolim. Might have been a better idea to just throw it on Alfin, but... <clears throat> I like to kind of, you know, make all of my characters good. Even though it does always usually, especially in Tales games, make the most sense to just throw all of your stat boosting items, at least the damage increasing ones on your main character. Because they are consistently the most busted. Looking at you, Lloyd and Yuri. Okay, there was a uh, skit there that I missed. Did I miss, really? Everybody? Go ahead and hit him with that. Boom, boom. Alright, I'm trying to... There we go. Oh god, you're about to laser beam me. Okay. <laughs> we are good. Yeah, I do find I just want some more arts with Alfin. I'm kind of getting bored of the ones that I have currently. And I just don't like a lot of the other stuff that we have. Yeah. Whatever. Good stuff. With this, I can. Excuse me, is that what I think it is? It is. Uh. So wait, was going here a bad? I oh wait, no, no, this was okay. Never mind, I got confused. So we do want to be here, but it I missed some stuff stronger. back here. <clears throat> I didn't think to turn around. 
This place definitely isn't easy to navigate. That's for sure. I doubt this structure was conceived with the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah. We've been seeing nothing but Zoogle nests. It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenigus the master core that's receiving all the astral energy. Hey, have you heard that voice again since we came in here? Oh, so now you believe me. I never said I didn't believe you. <sighs> the further in we go, the stronger the voice gets. Is that a sign we're going the right way then? Where's this voice coming from? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Considering astral energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you think so, just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too... clingy or anything. I promise. Oh, Law coming in with the jealousy. He's jealous of the mysterious voice. <coughs> because the mysterious voice can soothe Rinwell and he can't. It is kind of cute how far their relationships kind of come. And just watching Law kind of bumble his way around talking to women. He clearly has no idea what he's doing. But who does at that age? Not very many people. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit you guys with uh, some of that. And... Whale on ya. Go ahead and get broken, friend. I really do need some better, uh... Dreamor. To get a, uh... Better one of those things. The uh, warrior emblems, I believe they're called. You're really, really strong, Alfin. I'm just trying to do the best I can. Still, as impressive as always. Ah, and here I hope that was improving. We managed to. You guys through. love saying that one, huh? The bright stone. Don't know what that's, what uh, accessory that's used for, but I think we've got a few new ones. Out of our way. So we should probably uh, check our accessories next time we get a chance here. Boom. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. Okay, Vacuum Blades isn't horrible. Sucks I can't proc the Burning Blade off of it, though. That bit's unfortunate. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I didn't even see the strike prompts come up. I couldn't keep up with the meter because they were so high up in the air. You sure showed them. Sure did. More awakening pebbles. The blazing sword. Oh, we're just gonna use it to destroy these like vines. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Ring that may have the AG cost of an art when cast, letting especially lucky casters unleash powerful arts with reckless this abandon. This be some decent equipment. <clears throat> Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. That's pretty good, I guess. I honestly feel pretty okay with uh, my AG amount, though. I don't really feel like that's something that's needed. I would rather just do more damage. But it'd be nice if you were trying to build really, really high combos, I guess. A ring that may revive the wearer from a KO. There was once a whole squad famous for wearing these rings known as the Undead Legion. What's the chance on it? That's what I'm more interested in. Hmm. 50% chance. That would be pretty good on, like, say, Xion. I don't remember what I have on her right now, but... Whenever she gets down, just having a 50% chance to get back up would be very, very useful. No, you don't. Alright. Go ahead and hit him with one of these. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Oh, you're gonna do that, huh? 
Get back down. Just gonna keep hitting you with this cheese, man. It's just so strong. It feels like the game just wants you to invest into this so hard with Alfin. Since it seems like it's the best way to do damage to enemies most of the time. Oh no, I can't cancel. Okay, we're good. Oh, I was trying to animation cancel there and it was not working. In a bind. That didn't work. You don't. And you should be going down here. No, I'm not actually going to do enough. Close, though. You're a beefy boy, though. I'll give you that. I just really hate all of the arts that, uh... Like, put you in a really, really long combo that you can't cancel out of. Because it's very easy to just get knocked out of it. That's why I don't like a lot of the higher level arts, to be honest. I should probably think about tonight's menu. I remember having the same kind of issue with, um, some of Law's skills. They just were really, really high combo and lasted a super long time, so it was really easy if you were fighting a boss or something to get locked into one and then, you know, killed. It's weird, too, because it really feels like this is the kind of game that would have animation canceling of some sort. I tried to do it all the time just off of instinct, like try rolling to get out of my combo, but it uh, never works. But that doesn't stop my mind from trying to do it anyway. New version of Boomies. Just what I needed. Thanks for that negative gate, whoever cast that. That's pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. There we go. Uh, oh, I didn't even mean to switch to you, but, uh, alright, I guess we're playing as Shion now. Uh... As impressive as always. Get him, Shion. No, I... I mean, you're even better than ever. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, oh, no, we're gonna get into a new battle. Oh, my money? Okay. Uh... Where are we going? Spiral 1? What is this room? Here. I feel like I want to go into it. Because I don't know what Spiral 1 is, but... Uh, there's more enemies to fight right there. Uh, just keep going. I think that's that teleporter to get me back to the beginning. And maybe I gotta activate it, which, if that's the case, then I definitely, definitely should. But I loathe to lose my combat bonus. I'm very greedy, okay? When it comes to, uh, that stuff. SP. At least we're getting more of it now since I got that lucky cat. It makes it nice. Win! Nobody's gonna help? Okay, fine. Just stand there, Dolim. It's cool. We managed to pull through. Uh, 20 SP. Not the most, but. Yeah, let's go check out what that other thing was. <coughs> See if my hypothesis was correct and it was a teleport back. Oh, hey. I can just refight these guys. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. It's kind of a waste, but it's 20 SP. It's not like I absolutely need it or anything. Oh my god, these guys are destroying me. There we go. Scarlet Inferno. Scarlet Inferno! Eat it, nerd. Uh, go ahead and steal that, if you would so kindly. I was trying to knock you out of that, but you would not allow me. It was a bit too high. And dead. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! All right. I really shouldn't have even walked into that fight. <laughs> Looks like it could be worth something. I overestimate how much this uh, combat thing is actually worth. The combat meter. I place way too much emphasis on it. 
All right, uh, elemental defense. Still need to get that atonement edge. KO prevention would be nice. Oh yeah, I wanted this for the extra 50 attack. There we go. Uh, we're gonna increase counter attack critical hit rate too, because I get those a fair amount. Resistance plus 30, resistance plus 10, and air evasion. You're never in the air. Uncover the ultimate ingredient, and the mystic crest needs to be forged. Let's get you explosion. And sure, over limit extension. Ooh, elemental attack plus 30. Yeah, we should work on finishing off that tree. Uh, there's that really expensive one I was looking for you. Uh, increased boost strike damage, down damage. Mid-air damage. God, so many of Rinwells are just super expensive. Uh, yep. Finish your tree off. Whirlwind snap. And what do we want for you? This is attack plus 20. Let's just start working on that one. All right. Pretty simple. Ah, this is a fast travel point. Okay, teleport to the entrance is now active. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. I probably would have regretted it if I hadn't. <clears throat> Alright, these enemies respawned. Can I squeeze past you? Because I fought you before, so I don't really want to fight you again. <sighs> Try not to make everyone sit through more sure fights than we need way, to. Uh, I didn't realize you were still... Oh, there's only one of you. Are you serious? One of you chased me all that way? Why would you do such a thing? I mean, it was your funeral. Whatever. Don't know why you abandoned your friends to chase me. Pretty lethal combination, aren't we? What can I say? I had a good partner. Unfortunately, that seems to have canceled Law's dialogue that he was doing. But I think he was just talking about how high up we were going. All right. Whatever. We're getting a lot of XP out of this, and that's what matters. Can I... Yeah, let's explosive ring. Oh! He knocked me out of it. I was kind of hoping I would get it off before... I got killed, but unfortunately not. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Boom. Oh my god, hiccups, please. I don't know why, but recently hiccups have been like, no. When he's recording, that's the time. That's when we strike. It's like they know. <laughs> hiccups are ready. Don't push yourself too hard. Okay, more of you guys. We're running a bit low on CP here. And, uh, I don't like the look of that. Are you guys hiding something? Oh, you are. You're guarding equipment. I got it. Where are you? Uh. Uh-huh. God, you guys are so annoying. These stupid idiots right here. The demi-humans, man. They're obnoxious. Thank you, Shion. Alright. Go ahead and stop that. Alright. You, in particular, die. Uh, can we find this guy? No. Just gonna hit this guy. That was my bad. I should have targeted the guy that would have actually gotten uh, broken by it. So those like, those are like pursuers. Wow, they actually chase enemies down. I think I saw when Dolim got that ability. Now that I think about it, I see somebody casting down there. Ow! God, I hate these enemies. They're just so good at knocking me down. Ah. Can you not? Here I go. You must be tired of I'm merely doing what I can to help. 
Glad you're on I think that's the first time I've ever heard that particular dialogue. Can you die, please? Jeez. I just hate that, like, flailing claw attack that they do. It's so annoying. Wow, that was completely on accident, that, that counter strike, or that counter. Can't believe I actually got that. It was just totally behind me. I didn't even know that attack was existing. That happens a few times. Uh, or it happens pretty frequently in this. Probably just because I dodge a lot and the counter window is pretty generous. Kingly Vest. Equipment for law. Enjoy. This looks nice and tough. Alright, can we get a healy spot, please? I don't want to have to use my gels. But I don't know if I could make it through another fight with the amount of CP that we have. So... Please? I beg of you? No, of course not. Alright, um... I should have bought some more gels when we were out. <clears throat> well... Yeah, I suppose I could just avoid the enemies, but some of them are new, and they are still good XP. Damn it. I really thought I was gonna break that one before it got the chance. Do I have my... I do have the impact ring on. These guys are just a bit more resistant to my efforts. Alright, uh... Let's see if we can do that thing I was talking about. Yay, I did it! Awesome! Oh my god. That is really cool. Okay, I'm glad I was finally able to get that. <laughs> Only the best materials in your garments. You really do have quite the discerning eye, Dohalim. Yeah, they all kind of look the same to me. Well, I'm glad we finally got to see that, at least. Apparently, you only have to do it ten times to master it. So... Bloody coat. Strength yet grows. I thought the thing was floating. Alright, that's for you. No? It's for you. A dark red long coat worn by assassins the world over, who favor it for its coloration conveniently hiding any pesky blood spray that may get on them. Alright, that makes Dolim like, straight up my tankiest character. Honestly, Alfin's really lacking in the defense department right now. Huh. Alright. Hey, big guys that look like the stray slash asylum demons from Dark Souls. You look exactly like them. That's kind of awesome, actually. Just how similar they are. Also just look like the demon from, uh... The demon that you can run into from, uh, Demon Souls as well. Like the first boss fight you have, basically. They're just big and chunky. They have the tail in the same spot. And they're even using a big hammer. I don't even think I've seen an enemy type of this before. Most of the enemies we've been running into recently have been pallet swaps, but not this one. God, they hit hard. I get some heals. We are not going to be knocking these guys out of their stuff. Hmm. I may just put something else on. Uh, 15% extra attack. That's only 40, but whatever. I need to do more damage right now. Uh, we're getting kind of messed up here. I think I'm going to have to drop another orange gel. Just so we have CP. Ooh, there comes the explosion. Big damage. Oh, God. We're getting really, really messed up. I didn't know that one was behind me. Damn it. Uh. 
God, these guys have a lot of HP, too. Thank you for that. Come here, you. Please die. I would very, very much appreciate it if you would just die. There we go. God, go away. This jerk. There we go. Big damage. Oh, really? Damn it, that's annoying. Uh, how many life bottles do I have left? Seven? He is one. Okay, just don't die again. Thank you for the first aid. These guys are super tanky. Jeez, it feels like we're fighting the damn Asylum Demon or Stray Demon. They're going... Oh, I didn't even know that was an attack. I thought he was picking his weapon up after an attack. Uh... There we go. I'm just going to do the basic one. I just want quick damage. Oh. Kill him, please. Kill this big bastard. Oh no, I'm in a really long combo. God, I wish you could animation cancel that. Just pelt him with magic, everyone. <laughs> I guess that's why they were so difficult. I was basically fighting two bosses there. They really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. They sure do. You got that right, Alfin. Hexbreaker. That's probably for making that curse bangle. Oh, an orange shell, thank you. I need all that I can get. Wait, excuse me, is that a... That is, right? Yeah, that's an ore thing back here that I never grabbed. Oopsie doopsie. Can I get a heal spot, please? Maybe that's why they wanted me to leave via that teleporter earlier. Maybe that's why they gave it to me, so that I could exit, then go and heal up. But I was like, nah, they're probably going to give me one of the big healy things soon, right? No. The answer is no. Uh, now I have to use one just to pop this. Well, thank you. Good equipment? Spirit bangle. Looks like some. Is that like a really good one or something? It better be. It's not. It's still just a level one one. I already have one of those. Solid Who cares? Don't put that in a red chest. I thought it was good. <laughs> Man, this sickness needs to go away. I need a miracle gel in real life. At least I'm feeling better generally, though. Huge alien-looking structure proceeding from the ocean. Ugh, really? Still going, huh? At least the Ropers aren't that bad to fight. Oh god, I have like no HP. Uh, what are you doing, Alfin? Okay, he was trying to find a target there, and it was not going well for him. I don't know if he saw that. He was trying to auto-target. And it was going horribly. Poor guy. He could not find a target. Kill there. Yeah. These guys aren't the crazy bosses I was just fighting, so they're pretty the easy. Must be smiling. Man, all this fighting and we've gotten like a few levels. I feel like the late game stuff is going to require so much grinding. Like, for me to get to level 60? That's nuts. Or at least level, like, 55 or something. Ugh. Are you guys hiding something? No. I'm just going to jump past you. Later, dorks. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't see anything down there. I think that gel was really the only thing. You guys. I thought that was a den and owl over there. Are you hiding anything? Oh, okay, well, we're in battle with you, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 
Okay, let's just go ahead and see if we can end this quickly. Oh, I got hit by the slag. Slagmite. Are you trying to revive me? What's she on doing? I feel like she's reviving me. No, she was casting explosion. What's Dovalim doing? Okay, he's resuscitating me. Cool. Uh. Can you all die, please? I've used too much. Come on, man. The heal's gotta be coming soon, right? It must be on its way. Or another teleporter to get out of here. I need one of them. No. Bad Jimmy human. Look sharp. Lightning Alright. My cat walks out from behind the blinds. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Okay. Well, I'll do my best. Not really anything. Oh, I guess I had to go this way anyway. There was no alternate path. I thought there was a ladder or something that took me somewhere else. But no. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Well. We're gonna have to pineapple for this one. And why don't we go ahead and peach you, Dolim. Okay. More of these idiots. Alright, give him the big damage. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Thank you for the first aid. Uh-uh. Let's just keep knocking them around. Spam all the boost attacks and everything. There comes an attack. Tracking. Oh boy. Not beyond fury. Let me help. Uh there we go. Please don't cancel my thing with your Mystic Art, Dolim. Alright, now you can use it. Yeah, there we go. Tectonic vision! Deadzo. Or almost deadzo. I can't ignore your pain. Not try to be more careful. Ow. Long combos are death. Uh vacuum blades, I'm gonna I wanna get you to at least a hundred. Big swings. Ow! What the hell, man? Your stupid swings. Okay. Ooh. I was about to get clobbered on the head, but uh, I canceled it with my mystic. Unfortunately, that did zero damage because you were already almost dead. Uh. Ow. God, I hate I hate enemies that just spin around and that's their attack. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swing my arms, and if you run into me, that's your fault. Oh god, and Renwell died right at the end. She got clobbered right over the skull. God, those guys are annoying to fight. Hey, anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Renwell's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. Oh boy. Okay, that looks like a big door. Finally. Jeez. Yes, touch the mysterious power. That was obnoxious. What, no merchants up here? 
The merchant wasn't willing to travel this high. All right, let's see what we got. Uh. flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a Zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Stay sharp, everyone! Angry plant monster. I feel like I fought a boss that looked like this earlier. Uh, I don't know if that's machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off. Watch yourself. There is no knowing what it is capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? Ah. Okay, those are obnoxious to dodge. Jesus. Uh huh. Big slams. Can you come back down, please? Okay, well, that's the very spooky attack that I don't like. Out of there. Uh. Ow. God, we haven't even damaged the main boss yet. Because I'm assuming I have to hurt this before I can do that. What is happening here? Okay, doing this with Alphen is kind of annoying, actually, so I'm just going to use Shion. Pretty easy to hit the enemy this way. Oh god. Alright, we're good. Get him, Alphen. Is that a healing art? It is. I can't ignore your pain. Don't try to be more careful. Okay, this is much better. With you. Okay, Magna Ray doesn't even work on this boss. Um, what other arts are you working with? I don't know about Annihilation. Our tornado spread. Eh, you don't really have a lot of other options. Gravitas field. Yeah, I'll just keep on Magna Ray, I guess. Here we go. Awesome. Oh. 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 No, I I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Keon Hit it, Alfin. Uh -oh. Out of there. Um, I need to hit somebody with first aid. There you go. Big Dimaggio. Yeah, this is. Oh my God! What was that? Shion was like pointing her head forward. Oh yeah, I should be using these. Oh, so yeah, this is way better. Get in there. Okay, yeah, that's that's much better. Um, let's go ahead and drop the healing art. Uh, Alfin, if you would so kindly. Uh, Alfin needs a heal. Dodge. Ooh, that was close. Amazing. Not long to go now. We couldn't have done it without you. Uh, thanks. Come 
big DiMaggio. Alpen, if you would. Okay, and I can drop some fire down on these nerds. Oh, I thought they were weak to that. Now. Alright, now we focus on the boss again. Okay, this was much easier once I switched to Shion. To be quite honest. Could have just played from her as her, like, right from the get-go, but I didn't really understand what the boss is going to be like, but... Yeah, hitting those tentacles in the air with Alphen was kind of annoying. I guess I should have jumped more. That probably would have helped. People are probably like, why no jump attack? But, yeah. Is it over? Huh? What the hell is going on? I heard it. As did I. I'm not sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? Was it the planet that was talking that to Rinwell? That was Rinwell? astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard might have been its voice. Yup. You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel, but we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside Master Cores and Spirit Vessels that prevent such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's Spirit Vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So, then where do you think the Zoogle went? 
all that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. Okay. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down, too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then. Actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Yeah, I always forget in combat that I can actually jump to start aerial arts. I always think of it like a beat-em-up where I have to use a launcher to then move into aerial arts. Of course, in some beat-em-ups, you can just jump and start air combos like that too, but yeah. So I didn't think about doing it with Alfin, and then I switched to Xion, and then also came to the same realization with Xion. I'm like, oh yeah, aerial arts exist. Everything all right? You kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Geez, sorry for taking an interest. Stop it. It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Oh. And with that, I think that's probably a pretty good spot to go ahead and end this episode off here. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.